good morning, third grade. Today, I'm going to read you two more chapters on the book, How to Be Cool in the Third Grade. And today, your job as a reader is to start thinking about yourself as a reader and what goal you need to do in order to be a golden reader. What better things do you need to do as a reader? So as I'm reading through this book and thinking about Robbie, the main character, I'm going to be thinking about what would be a good goal for myself as a reader, okay? So at the end, I'm going to tell you what I think I need to do to be a better reader. How to be cool in the third grade. At the same time, I'm also thinking about Robbie and all the things that he's already been through. We know from chapter one, he went making a list of how to be cool. He wants to change his name. We talked about that. And he wants a pair of jeans. Uh, he had some trouble with uh, Bo Haney on the bus. He doesn't want to be in Miss Williams' class now because Bo Haney is in that class as well. So we're really getting a picture of how he's really trying to be cool, but at the same time, he's feeling a little uncool. All right? So in the next chapter, we're going to be thinking about the same ideas and how we can build on those ideas, how we can elaborate. Remember our word from writing? Elaborate. Let's say that. Elaborate. All right, this chapter is called Book Buddies. So I'm going to take a minute to think about book buddies. Oh, I know a buddy is another word for friends. So maybe it's someone that helps you with your reading. Hmm, let's read about, I'm interested to find out what book buddies has to do with Ravi and be, trying to be cool. The fun had gone out of the first day of school. Ravi couldn't remember ever feeling this low. It was almost time to ride home on the bus. School bus rides were no longer something to look forward to. They were something to dread. Oh, so if I didn't know that word dread, a good strategy, because I'm thinking that maybe my strategy is to reread, is to go back and to look, reread it and see if I can figure out what that word means. School bus rides were no longer something to look forward to. Oh, I know when you look forward to something, you're happy about it. They were something to dread. Oh, so that must be the opposite. So dread must mean to be worried about. He doesn't want to go on the bus ride. And I know from the last chapter that he had a hard time with Bo on the bus. So that word now makes sense to me. Oh, I'm really using my reading strategies because I'm thinking, stopping to think, and I'm thinking long and hard. I hope you can do that strategy too. He sat at his desk wondering how to get out of the bus ride home. Another trip with Bo would be the worst thing he could imagine. He looked all over at Bo. Bo was carving his name into his desk with a Boy Scout knife. Robbie had the feeling that Bo had never been a Boy Scout. Just then, like the answer to a prayer, he heard the most wonderful words of the day. Bo Haney, you will remain after school for detention hall. Ooh. See, they don't tell us who's talking here, so I'm going to stop to think. I see some dialogue, but it's not its not Robbie talking, so who's talking? Hmm, I'm going to keep that in mind as I read on. Miss Williams had found the knife. Oh, so this part up here was the teacher calling him. Saved for now. It would be safe to ride the bus home today. I'm going to stop here. Before, he was starting to dread riding the bus. But now he's thinking it's safe. Why is, are his feelings changing? Hmm. Oh, his feelings are changing because Bo is going to stay in school. So he's thinking he's not going to be on the bus. Oh, see, I like the way I stopped and put all the pieces together so I can check my understanding. Then he heard the second most wonderful words of the day. It's time to announce our book buddies for the year. Book buddies, Robbie had always wanted to be a book buddy. Book buddies got to help other kids with their reading. It was not easy to be chosen. You had to have all A's from the year before. You had to have all S's on behavior. Hmm. So Robbie, to be a book buddy is a good thing. And Robbie now is kind of anxiously waiting to find out if he's going to be one. Robbie hoped his name would be called. He had all A's and all S's. He could imagine himself carrying the red notebooks sitting out in the hall at the two desks, holding up the flashcards. It would be, well, cool. Oh, look. So now I'm stopping to think. 
because now Robbie's thinking to be a book buddy. I'm putting the parts together. To be a book buddy would be cool. So his, his feelings are starting to change again. He's feeling a little happy. He's anticipating. He hopes that he's going to be called a book buddy. See how I stopped to put the puzzle pieces together. That's what you need to do as a reader too. Maybe that will be the goal you set for yourself. He would be a great book buddy if only she would choose him. Luke Hansen, Miss Williams read from a piece of paper. Robbie crossed his fingers. She could pick me, Robbie thought. I always get A's. Marche Marcella Johnson, Robbie thought back over his report cards. He had never received anything but an S in behavior. He never misbehaved. So that means he's always behaving. It could be me, he thought. Millie Bonapel, please, Robbie York, Robbie York, he had been chosen. He would be a book buddy this year. Oh, I'm going to stop. I see that how the, this Mark is telling me he's excited to be a book buddy. Maybe he's thinking that's something cool. Robbie grinned. Oh, there's that word grinned, another word for smile, at Miss Williams. Ah, oh, the other kids sighed <sighs> out their disappointment at not being chosen. The bell rang and the children hurried out of the door to get to their buses. Book buddies called Miss Williams. Please stay for just a moment and get your assignments. Hmm, assignments. What do they think that big word might mean? Oh, well, if he's going to be a book buddy, see, I'm going to stop and think. I'm going to put the puzzle pieces together. Oh, maybe that's who he's going to be the buddy for. I'm going to read on and see if my idea is right. Robbie hurried up to the front of the room with Luke, Marcel, and Millie. Now he will find out who his buddy was, the person he would be working with this year. The four children clustered around the desk. Luke, you will have Brian Hicks, Luke nodded, and headed out the bus. Marcel, you will have Katie Robertson. Marcella nodded and left too. Millie, you will have Barb Brett Green, she nodded and left. And Robbie, you will have Clyde Elmore Haney. Robbie did not nod. Who was Clyde Elmore Haney? Oh, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to make a prediction. I know that name, Haney. Hmm. What ideas are you growing? Shout them out. Let me see if, well, I'm going to read on and see if what I'm thinking in my head is correct. It might not be, but that's okay. They didn't have someone in their class named Clyde Elmore, did they? Now hurry, said Miss Williams. You don't want to miss the bus. Robbie headed for the door. From the back of the room, a voice called, Bye, Wobby. Bo, Bo Haney. Bo Haney? Could it be true? Could Clyde Elmore Haney be Bo Haney? It must be true. He was book buddies with Bo. How do you think the character is feeling now? Remember, Robbie was so excited to be a book buddy. Now he finds out his book buddy is Bo. Do you think his feelings are changing again? What do you think his feelings are now? Make a prediction. Now have it in your head, and we're going to read on and see if your prediction's right. Oh, we have a new chapter. It's called Smack. Robbie ran out to the bus and climbed up the stairs. He sat down beside Doug and slung his backpack down. Who's your book buddy, said Doug. Robbie didn't answer. He rested his head back and closed his eyes. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He rested his head back and closed his eyes. Look at that action. Listen to that action. What do you think? What do you think that might mean? Robbie didn't answer. He rested his head back and closed his eyes. What is that telling us about the character? Is he happy? Is he frustrated? Is he scared? This is what, that's why now Doug asks, you okay? He shook his head, no. Who'd you get, said Doug. You didn't get a girl, did you? Robbie shook his head. You look so bad, I thought maybe you got a girl. Hmm. So you didn't get a girl. What does he say he get, got? I got Bo. What? Bo, he said again? Man, said Doug. He covered his forehead with his hand. This is not good. They rode in silence. The bus stopped at Doug's stop. What does Doug tell him? Because he's trying to be a good friend. He says, don't worry. See? So that tells us, that gives us clues about what's going on with Robbie and how a good friend, he, what a good friend he is. Doug said as he walked forward toward 
the front of the bus. Well, think of something. Robbie didn't smile. We have to, he said, or I'm dead tomorrow. Robbie's stop came next. He could see his mother and they pulled up to the stop. She was waiting at the bus stop to walk him home. As they pulled closer, he could see that she was wearing her brightest, reddest lipstick. His first two steps had been to being cool had changed. Now his third step seemed impossible too. With a sigh, he pulled out his notebook and changed his third step to being cool. Okay, so here again, with a sigh, he pulled out his notebook and changed his third step to being cool. See how I reread that? So I can grow ideas about the character. Put up with kisses at the bus stop, smack. She got him again. Wait, in the beginning, she wanted to, he wanted to stop the kisses. Now he's thinking, all right, I'm gonna keep that on my list as something positive. Hmm, so the characters keep changing and we have to pay attention to why, the reasons why. The doors of the bus slammed shut with a bang like the end of his hopes for a great year. His mother did not seem to notice. How was your day? She asked in a cheerful voice. Fine. It was no worse use worrying her. How do you like your class? It's okay. Do you know anyone in your new classroom? Robbie thought of Bo. Yes, he said with a, without enthusiasm. Hmm. I'm going to reread that because that word tells me how to read it. Yes, he said without enthusiasm. Good, she said. She seemed satisfied with that. Oh, Robbie, there's a sale at Harkins. I thought I'd run over there this afternoon. Mrs. Hines will watch you while I'm gone. It will only be for about an hour. I need to get you a few more things for school. Robbie's heart sank. Oh, what does that mean, his heart sank? Did his heart just drop or did something happen? Let's read on and see if we can get the meaning from the rest of it. What would you get for him this time? Pretty pony underwear? He wanted to say words. Would you mind picking up a pair of jeans for me? Or, hey, while you're there, would you see if there are any white underwear for sale? Do you think he's saying this out loud or are these are inner thoughts? So we have to pay attention to that too because in third grade, that starts to get tricky. Sometimes the character is saying it out loud. Sometimes he's saying it to himself. He sighed. Oh, there's that word sighed again. No matter... <sighs> How many ways he thought of to say the words, he wouldn't, they wouldn't come out of his mouth. As his mother hurried inside to get her purse, Robbie sank down onto the front steps. Maybe Baby Robbie was the right name for him after all. He had made up his list with such high hopes, but he hadn't done a single thing on his list. There was a big difference between making a plan and doing a plan. Wow. I love this quote. There was a big difference between making a plan and and doing a plan because that's what we're going to do as readers today we're going to make a plan so that we can do the plan in terms of making a plan for ourselves as readers he had to stop Bo, but how he couldn't tell his mother he could just see what she'd do she would be get all upset call mr hardman call Bo's parents call the pta call the police it would only make things worse if only he could become cool before tomorrow, before he had to be book buddies with Bo, everything would be okay. Coolness was like armor, protection. See how this comma here tells me that armor and protection mean the same thing. From harm and teasing. Harm. Teasing, we talked about that harm is when something hurts you. Coolness was the key to happiness. Oh, look at that. Coolness was the key to happiness in the third grade. Coolness was the key to survival in the third grade. Time was running out. He needed to know the answer fast. How to be cool in the third grade. It seemed impossible. Hmm. So we've been growing some ideas about how to be cool in the third grade by listening to this book and reading through it. And now one of the things we want to do as we're using this mentor text is we want to start thinking of ourselves as readers. And we want to study your own reading today and your patterns and I want you to set a new goal and you see how there's a log here I want you to think about how I can read more books like they're gold okay that could be one of your goals 
It could be, talk more about the books I'm reading. It could be, figure out the meaning of unknown words. To look in and to look around. So today, as readers, your job will be to fill out your reading response where you're setting a reading goal. And we're going to remember what Robbie said in about a plan in this book. He said that having a plan is different. I'm going to put this back. There's a there's a big difference between making a plan and doing the plan. So today, as readers, you're going to make your plan, and then we're going to start doing the plan. And then Miss Dizini, Miss Arlene, and I will be checking in to see how your plan is going. Have a great reading day, and remember to study your reading patterns and to set a new goal.